is uh, is something you can't do all the time. Here we are, ready to go for the end, wait to get into it. Okay, here we go, Peter. Here it is. for the Harding jab straight away, straight into the face of Tommy Collins, one to the body. That's for Peter. Harding's plan all night long is that big, powerful left jab of his. Tom the Bomb Collins will be looking to slip the jab and come over the top with a big right hand. Whether he can do it against the pressure that Harding's going to mount, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, Jeff Harding, certainly uh, the youngster who uh, has come a long way in a short time, up against the veteran. It's the young line against the KG Old Fox tonight. And look at the eye of the tiger on Jeff Harding. He's really determined that jab's snaking out. Watch for Harding to jab to the head and then bring that left rip hard underneath. Well, Tom Collins has proven in his record that uh, he's got knockout drops in uh, in both hands and uh, certainly Jeff Harding will have had a good look at the tapes through uh, his trainer, Johnny Lewis, and uh, they'll be trying to combat that and uh, the further the fight goes, as far as Harding's concerned, the better he'll go. Slow starter against Dennis Andres and as I said earlier, he can't afford that slow start tonight. Tom Collins Zorba has that reputation, as we were saying, of being a, a lazy guy, a laid-back kind of guy, but that suits his style, and as he says, he lulls opponents into a false sense of confidence. He just stands there very, very casually and waits to drop that right hand in over the top. That's what he's doing right now. He hasn't been all that impressive in gym work, uh, leading up oh, to this fight. Oh, Harding lost his balance there, Harding landed the right hand. The referee's putting the count on. Sensational start. Well, he got very, very wobbly. The legs turned hey. into licorice there, and uh, Jeff Harding just nailed him with a short right as he comes after Tommy Collins now. Collins uh, uh, certainly shocked there by Harding's power as he comes oh, back and Collins. nails Harding with a right. Collins bombing away with the right hand. This is where Harding has to be careful. He can't walk in face first against Tom the Bomb because Collins has power in that right hand. What a war in the first round. Both boxers landing very heavy blows. Light heavyweight contest. And if they go at this pace, it certainly can't go the 12 rounds. There's the hitman now after Tommy Collins. Sensational start, Tom the Bomb Collins on the canvas in the opening stages of the fight, but coming back with a terrific right hand against Harding. Yes, it certainly was. It was a tremendous comeback, but uh, Harding, certainly by virtue of that knockdown, certainly looking as though he's going to take the points in round one of this scheduled 12-rounder out of the Brisbane Entertainment Centre. Tommy Collins already feeling the power of the young hitman, Jeff Harding. Harding, so savage inside. This is where he does so much damage inside when he lets go with those short, hard punches inside, in close, and Collins is on trouble on the ropes. 15 seconds left in the round, and Jeff Harding raining blows there on Tommy Collins. Collins just covering up and not giving any resistance at all, but a lot of those blows aren't getting through. He unleashes a left there as he comes out of that position, throws the right at the end of the round. Harding hits him with a left there to end an action packed round one and complaints here from the British corner. They're blowing up in the corner of Tom the Bomb Collins, but really claiming Harding hit him after the bell. The very experienced Lou Filippo said no worries. Well, Harding hit him plenty of times before the bell too, Zorba, and that's what Tom the Bomb Collins has got to watch out for, that right hand that put Tom the Bomb down was a beauty. OK, let's have a look at the replay of the action and the knockdown in round one. Just catching Tom the Bomb on the top of the head there. It's surprising that, that Collins went halfway down and uh, Harding just didn't go on with it. He realised that it hit him clean, stepped back and referee Lou Filippo putting the count on. OK, so there's the knockdown in round one and a wonderful round for Jeff Harding defending his uh, world WBC light heavyweight crown and Tom Collins on the deck once in the fight so far. Harding and Collins meet in centre ring and another bomb from Harding to start proceedings. He goes underneath now, working and uh, over the top now goes Tommy Collins, pushes Harding away. Peter, Jeff Harding is starting this fight very, very fast. He's starting the fight like a scolded cat, working behind that beautiful double jab he has. But Tom the Bomb Collins is doing his best to stay in there. He's really up against it. He's fought very few guys who can mount the kind of pressure that young Jeff Harding can execute. All the fighters out of the Johnny Lewis stable in Newtown in Sydney certainly go after their opponents. There's no respite. They're always right there in front of you. You don't have to send a search party out to find where Jeff Harding is. He's right in front of you. A couple of centimetres away, as he was against Andres. There's a right there. And that oh, that shot! Harding! Harding, Harding and shaking! He's in trouble now. Jeff Harding! Collins! Waiting away! And a little nick has opened up in 
Jeff Harding, that shock Harding. His legs went from underneath him, but we saw against Andres that he refused to fall. He almost went then. He took a dipsy doozy and almost went down. The bombs of Tom Collins working now against Jeff Harding. Harding's regained his equilibrium. Great concern in the corner of Jeff Harding. Johnny Lewis is almost crying out there. He's screaming at Jeff Harding to keep your hands up. Harding really shaking with the right hand. He's got a jaw like a rock, Jeff Harding, but that one shook him right up. Well, it's a bomb. It's a bomb excursion here from both fighters. Certainly loading them up as Tommy Collins. Harding going after him though, even though he was rocky in the early stages of round two. What a tremendous war this is. Harding just has to keep the pressure on. That's what he's got to do right the way through. Tom the Bomb Collins can't go with him punch for punch, but Collins is always dangerous. Well, they've left the water pistols at home. Bazooka's only here out of the prison entertainment centre tonight. But he's, oh, he's rocked him again. Left left. Harding almost went again. Harding in trouble again from that left hook, but he comes back well he's got to give it all tom collins he's going for his knockdown in the early round harding goes at harding now harding 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 harding. this is a survival of the fittest harding comes back what a war you can never tell though with collins oh, tom Obama, i'm sure he's just planning to let jeff harding punch himself out that's what he said he was going to do when he gets up against the ropes he puts the gloves in front of his face he wants harding to punch himself out because he knows harding is very very fit and that he can't match him punch for punch oh Big shots from Tom the Bomb Collins. Well, Collins is throwing more bombs that were rained on Britain during World War II. This is a oh. tremendous contest between Jeff Harding. There's no science here. Jeff Harding and Tommy Collins giving their all. A beautiful right from Jeff Harding. Harding keeping the pressure on. He's taken some big shots in this round, but always coming back. Ten seconds left in round two, and there is no science at all. This is just a war. Tom Collins versus Jeff the Hitman Harding. The Colony 4X collision. There's the end of round two. And listen to the fans roar their approval of a tremendous contest. Bradley Keezer. Well, Zorba, what action have we seen so far in the first two rounds? Collins on the canvas in round one. And then in the second round, really shaking Jeff Harding up a couple of times there. Harding lost his footing. Harding's very, very tough, but that right hand that... Collins lander that really shook him to his bootlaces. Johnny Lewis there telling Harding to beware of Tom Collins. He was screaming to get away from Collins when that right over the top really rocked Jeff Harding. Let's have a look at the action in round two and there was plenty of it. They stopped the fight. The fight is over. Has the towel this been thrown out? I can't amazing. believe it. Absolutely After two amazing. rounds of incredible incredible competition i can't believe that the fight is over what the British a turn up here. The towel in. they've stopped the fight tom the bomb collins shaken up it towards the end of that second round just couldn't match it with jeff harding well that's incredible the fans are absolutely stunned here at the brisbane entertainment center absolutely stunned at the finish to that fight in the he just could not come out or would not come out for round three. An incredible situation, Bradley Keezer. Absolutely bizarre, Zorba. I mean, he shook Jeff Harding that second round with a terrific right hand. Now he doesn't want to fight anymore. And look at Harding. Goodness me, after two rounds, he thought that he was in for a hard fight. And that's all the fight there was. He certainly did. OK, uh, certainly a sensational finish to this contest here at the Brisbane Entertainment Centre. Well, I don't think I've ever seen a fight finished quite that way after just two rounds tom the bomb collins has stopped fighting he's quit in the corner he shook jeff harding up in that second round there were signs of encouragement there he's got a little mouse under the left eye but certainly nothing to worry about there and graham shadow mcneese have you ever seen anything quite so absurd like everyone else here Bradley, i am stunned but right now let's go to ring announcer ray Conn. ladies and gentlemen upon the retirement of Tom Collins in the second round. The winner retaining his WBC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World, Jeff Harding. Jeff Harding retaining his World WBC Light Heavyweight title. We're surprised that Tom Collins didn't come out for the third round. Yes, I was, Peter. Um, all you fans out there that came to the fight and supported both Tom and myself, you know, like that's the way boxing goes. That's the life story it is. 
You know, you get some, you lose some. Ups and downs, that's what life's all about. You know, I thought Tom had, uh, had, had more fuse on, on his stick to go. And uh, that's just the way boxing ends. And I'm very sorry that you people here that pay good hard money to come and watch Jeff Harding retain his world title. Maybe it could have been a lot better, but I really hope you come again. Well, there it is. Jeff the Hitman Harding uh, successfully defends his uh, WBC light heavyweight uh, title in rather controversial circumstances. It will be a very...